Hey everyone, Tony Winston here for Jazz Piano College, and I'm going to run through five more songs just using rootless uh, voicings with my left hand. And uh, there's a down in the description there is a PDF with all five songs on there, so just one uh, just one file for all five songs. And you know, just click on it, and it'll come right out. I want to thank all my supporters on Patreon and those that support me on PayPal. Um, I'm also going to go kind of slow, and I'm not going to follow the melody exactly because, you know, I don't want this to be demonetized because of copyright, so I'm going to mess around with the melody a good deal. And I'll try to go slow enough. Be careful when I'm playing a chord like this. Only one of the letters will show up there in the uh, upper bar there. And I had some of them covered up on my last video, so I'm going to try not to do that this time. Here we go, Stella by Starlights first. Next we have Summertime. Notice I'm going to add a few chords in here, an E minor 7 flat 5, which could be played this way, and then the same shape here for an A altered, a little 2-5-1 to break things up a little bit. What is this thing called love? Right there I played an F minor 6th and of course that's the same as the next chord which really should be a D minor 7 flat 5. I know the chart's got D flat 7th. I mean you could do D flat 7th but that's a lot like the G altered that comes next. It's a tritone sub. So um, I think most people play it you know with F minor. And I did F minor 6 and then you know going to the D minor 7 flat 5 is kind of the same chord 
So what I did was a different rootless voicing that adds the ninth there. Next up, Woody and you. there you can think of this as another D flat chord just an altered one that depends on what the bass player plays That time I did it a little different in the A section. You know, I went up to these altered chords instead of going down. And it does remind me that uh, I've been working on, you know, the other inversions of these chords. You know, we've got like an A, you know, a sh shape one and a shape two. But, you know, there's, there's other inversions that work pretty nicely. Um, you know, suppose you were, say, doing a G minor seven flat five. Oh, geez, that would be a right, right. uh, Where am I going? And then. I'll do a more extensive video about those when I get it all figured out. Okay, I think this is our last one, Yesterdays. It's not the Beatles song now, that's Yesterday. This is... Another great song. You know, I'm using a lot of the same voicings I've been using now, so you can make that D minor sixth. They're just as good just playing the chord, uh, you know, without any alterations in any inversion. Make that altered or unaltered. I kind of like this way because we're going to move this down chromatically. Altered, unaltered, a different way now.
That's all, folks.